Hi everyone, Gene here, and welcome to the Tapping Q&A podcast, where every single week we answer the most common and uncommon questions about tapping, so you can get the most out of your tapping practice and take the actions that you want to take. Back in episode 335, we talked about how to make tapping routine. What came out of that was a lot of response and a desire to be able to do that more. And so I've created a really simple resource for you in which for the next 248 days, which is basically nine months, I will send you an email with a new tap along audio every single day. And when you sign up, you actually get access to all 248 right away. So you can use any of them immediately, but it's a gentle, nice reminder every single morning. The audios are between four and five minutes. There's not the normal filler and explanation at the front. It's just diving right in and tapping away. You can have access to this for only $49. That's less than 20 cents a day. If you're interested in seeing the details on that, all you need to do is go to tappingqa.com slash daily. This is Gene Montrose and welcome to the Tapping Q&A podcast recorded live to tape from Williamsburg in Brooklyn. This is episode 338, originally aired November 21st, 2018. Hi everyone, I hope this finds you well wherever you are and whatever time of day you're getting a chance to listen to this. Thanks for spending some time with me today. We are going to take a short break from the five most common questions that I receive from readers and listeners just like you. And instead, what we're going to do is we're going to do something that's a little bit seasonal. For those of you who live outside of the United States, this week, tomorrow specifically, if you download this on Wednesday when it went live, is Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving's a really interesting holiday. It is a little fraught because we're going and we're spending time with people we may or may not necessarily have a lot of affection for, but we're doing it out of a sense of obligation. And so for some people, Thanksgiving is an amazing holiday because it's an opportunity to have thanks and gratitude. And for others, it can feel like a real burden. And so inside of all of this, I think it's important, regardless where you fall on that spectrum, to be able to connect your sense to the sense of and the power of gratitude. For me, being in a state of gratitude is a powerful thing. And I am far from unique in talking about that particular disposition. There's a huge number of people who've shown and have talked about the power of gratitude. For me, when I am in the space of gratitude, it makes it easier for me to be open to opportunity and what is around me. So it's not just about appreciating what I have, but because I'm appreciating what I have, it helps me to be open to what is there that I'm not seeing immediately. And so today, for that holiday, what I'm going to do is just offer a really simple tap along for those times that we don't feel like it's easy for us to be grateful and how we can be grateful. So tap on the side of the hand, take a nice big deep breath for me. And just move from tapping point to tapping point, repeating after me. It's not always easy to give thanks. Because I live in a world that is far from perfect. I encounter burden and struggle. Things do not always go as planned. And I experience pain in my life. When I feel pain... When I don't have what I want or need, it can be difficult for me to give thanks. It can be difficult for me to have appreciation. When I give thanks, I am not denying the reality of my circumstance. When 
when I give thanks, I'm not saying everything is perfect. Giving thanks does not mean I am stopping my effort to improve my life. Giving thanks simply means I can look at what is going on honestly. And honestly, there are things that I can give thanks for. There are things that I can appreciate. I give thanks for the good things in my life. I give thanks for the positive relationships in my life. I give thanks for the opportunity to take this time today. And as I continue to move forward, I appreciate the day. I appreciate what is in front of me. I appreciate being able to move forward. I give myself permission to give thanks. I give myself permission to be fully in this moment. I give thanks. Nice deep breath. And give me a big stretch. This is one of those topics that it's important that we come back to again and again. There are many people who actually do gratitude exercises daily. I do them probably weekly. And when I say weekly, I don't mean without strength, but instead at least once a week. It's important that we're putting ourselves in a position where we're able to recognize what good is around us because we are biased towards noticing the things that are bad because the things that are good, we take for granted. And so taking this moment and taking this time is an important thing. For those of you in the United States, I hope you have a happy, happy, happy Thanksgiving weekend with friends and family. For those of you all over the world, I hope you appreciate the ability to give a little thanks. If you have a question or a comment, I always love hearing from you. You can drop me a note, gene, G-E-N-E, at tappingqna.com. You can always go to tappingpodcast.com. Click on the contact link. If you're in the website right now, you can see that in the top. And if you are inside of the mobile app, you have the opportunity to send me a voice message or an email from right inside of the app. I love hearing from people exactly like you. If there's someone in your life who you know would appreciate today's podcast, please pass it along. The most common way a new podcast is found by someone is on the recommendation of a friend. So the easiest way for new people to find their way to the free tools and resources that we offer here is through people just like you passing it along If you want, stop the podcast right now, shoot a quick text message. I would really appreciate that. For the Tapping Q&A podcast, this is Gene Montrostelli. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. The Tapping Q&A podcast is copyright. Gene Montrostelli, Tapping Q&A 2016. All views expressed by guests are those of the guests and not necessarily of Gene Montrostelli or Tapping Q&A.